హాయ్ హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ స్కోడనర్ జయసింహ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్ గైడ్ మెంటర్ ఫిలాసఫర్ అండ్ వీఆర్ ఇన్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ హౌ వీ కెన్ సెలబ్రేట్ లైఫ్ లైఫ్ ఈస్ సో బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ టూ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ ప్రాపర్ ఫిజికల్ హెల్త్ so what we need to do to take care of health next one is about having intellect means knowledge so you are healthy physically and you are knowledgeable these two aspects we discussed now today we'll discuss about the third concept what is that it is about having sufficient wealth money whenever i talk about money many people say oh my god he is so commercial money minded asking money it gives such kind of reaction from people that they want to loot you know people but the thing is how important the blood is for the body how important the salt is for the curry the money is so important for making a living in sanskrit they say dhanam moolam idam jagat which means paisa meh hai paramatma दुनिया गोल गोल किसके पीछे पैसे के पीछे आप जो कोई भी हो हु एवर यू मे बी फाइनल अल्टीमेट एम इज दैट यू हैव टू मेक मनी विदाउट मनी लाइफ डजेंट रन सो मेनी पीपल दे थिंक मनी इज बैड नो टेल मी नाइफ इज इट बैड और गुड इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन फॉर वॉट आर यू यूजिंग इट नाउ ए डॉक्टर विल यूज द नाइफ टू सेव सम लाइफ a person like me will kill someone it's not about who has uh, who uh, whether the knife is good or bad who is having it fire good or bad our mom using fire she'll cook food for us and some other person will put fire for all the houses destruction so it's not about the fire who is using this fire for what money is good money is bad by using money you can help poor people orphanages old age homes you can uplift people you can start a company you can give employment you can you know develop the economy you can have good infrastructure schools colleges hospitals and you can do many things and the same money it can also create problem the reason why we have got this thinking that money is bad because we have been habituated to watching bollywood you know tollywood and sandalwood or uh, mollywood movies where you see any rich person is supposed to be bad means a villain in a movie will live in a luxurious bungalow he will have a nice beautiful car he will have 30 40 people he has got so much money is wealthy rich and hero he always lives in slums juggi jopdis very poor fellow he is on a rickshaw or auto not able to make a living so it has been ingrained in our mind that any person who makes money is only made money through illegal means is that the right thing you can be good you can make money too taught us they never did anything illegal to make money whether we talk about bill gates or you know mark zuckerberg or elon musk or whoever the person we're talking about everybody doesn't do only wrong things you can use your intelligence you can even you can use your knowledge and you can make money as well so the right way also you can make money through stock market in movies in cricket field okay in ads like we do some training program somebody is a teacher somebody runs some school you know somebody is got a shopping mall so it doesn't really mean that everyone who makes money is bad it's like katta angur bitter grapes you heard this story a fox you now wanted to you know grab some grapes grapes are hanging from the roof it will jump to grab them once twice thrice it can't because the grapes are too high for the fox to catch after some time the fox will tell oh these grapes are bitter i don't want similarly most people we can't make money and hence we say money is bad now anyone who says money is bad first of all tell me that money is bad after you make enough money make 1 million no 1 billion uh, make crores of rupees then you say money is bad i don't want now you can give it to orphanage you can you know give some scholarships 
you can donate to the government prime minister relief fund if nobody want to do anything else give it to me i'll share my mobile number you can do google pay phone pay and i will also share my account number you just message me and in my podcast you will get my mobile number and you can send that money to me i need money but don't ever tell me money is bad without making money when you make money and say i have made enough right now i don't need this money i have proven a point i am going to give it to you then i will you know really admire you i will really appreciate you and let me tell you if you are really good if you are and then you are poor then you are a criminal what 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 i am saying if you are good and if you are poor you are a criminal why the sum total of money in a country is limited it depends upon the gold reserves so how much money can be printed in a country is limited by the reserve bank of india so the money which is printed in india is distributed amongst all of us either money is in my pocket or in your pocket if money is not in my pocket that means it is in someone else's pocket now if the money is in my pocket then i can use this money for maybe uh, building a bus shelter i can provide you know cool water during the summer i can give some scholarships i can help okay you know the government with my money but if i don't have money the means money is there in somebody else hand if that person is evil minded is a criminal what he can do he can put a bomb he can encourage terrorism he can import some guns and he can create you know violence terrorism in the whole country that means by saying that you are good and you are poor you are indirectly helping the terrorists bad people to you know do evil things so if you are good you have every right to be rich understand every right to be rich and we need to make money we need to make money and for that matter even god needs money here god needs money you know you all know tirupati bhagwan venkateshwara why he is one of the richest gods i never heard about ananta padmanabh sam temple till few years back suddenly i came to know through the newspapers that under his you know a statue so many locker rooms are there in that rubies diamonds pearls gold money is there and he is the richest god till that time nobody so right now what people do when they go to kerala they make it a point to visit ananta padmanabh sam temple means god has given so much of brought so much of name to the uh, money has brought so much of name to the god himself why don't need money i still remember when i was a kid i used to go with my grandmother to a temple my grandmother very pious lady and we used to she used to walk up to the temple from the village and then she would stand in the line and uh, some rich person would come by a car and they will get immediate darshan so i used to ask my grandma i am grandma you are very pious and you are very devoted and you are one of the best devotee of the god you should get first darshan why that person who came by car who bought that sikra darshan ticket why they are you know getting first darshan means god is loving the man the woman who has got money or god is loving the somebody who has got so much devotion my grandmother said no chup keep quiet i can't answer your question now later only i understood that the money is there a rich person comes even the normal darshan will be stopped and you know uh, and the rich person has to go and he will have visit god so it means what without money any trust charitable organization ngo okay or a temple mosque or a church nothing will ever run anybody says i don't want money he is telling the biggest lie i am telling again anyone says i don't need money he is telling the biggest lie everyone needs money everyone needs money making a living makes money now somebody like me we will do some training program and say our program is going to cost you so much now some other people they don't do anything they say we are very spiritual very religious we don't do anything we are ngo we are social organization at the end they'll put one hundi and they say now give us some donation finally it amounts to the same thing right and i look commercial somebody else looks now very spiritual that's all the whole difference is all about so we need to make money because empty plates can never feed others many people they can't take care of themselves but they want to help other people first of all take care of yourself 
your mom and dad your spouse your children then you think about helping other people a person who can't take care of himself or herself how we want to help other people only my stomach is filled okay then i can think of feeding other people if i myself is hungry i get little food i would like to eat that first right how can i give it to someone else so when i have something surplus very easily willingly i'll be able to you know you know give that money so hence you need to make money bill gates said beautifully once to be born as a poor is not a crime but to die as a poor is the biggest crime i repeat he said to be born as a poor is not a crime but to die as a poor is the biggest crime because money will give you a lot of respect if you have enough money people will call you as a chief guest they will garland you they will put shawl on your shoulders and they will write pages and pages about you in the facebook and then whatsapp and newspapers and television if you don't have money people just don't care imagine i am talking to you about motivation you read another book on inspiration you read someone's life story all of them are temporary but imagine now outside you need to give somebody money and is waiting there and he says come i will you now see your end will you have the confidence you will not have right but the moment you have one 2000 no rupee pink note in a pocket the way you walk head up shoulders back chest to the front deep breath and the confidence that oozes out of your eyes is something different so having purse full is a totally different ball game altogether okay so money will give you respect the money will give you confidence i know why because i am born in such a poor family i have i have seen the poverty we never had two square meals a day and previous days leftover rice with that starch whatever okay and we used to mix sometime with that you know mirchi powder and some oil okay we'll eat some mango pickle i have seen the poverty how it is to be hungry i slept with a newspaper in the general compartment next to the toilet i have stayed two days without a food i know what is hunger i know what is poverty your relatives friends acquaintances all of them will they go away <laughs> but the moment you become famous you become a celebrity you make money everybody becomes your friends so money is the ultimate thing they have come to you not by looking at you looking at a purse looking at a wealth at your back yeah that is the key for whole life that having money is so important you can do away with anything in life but without money just not possible so you have to have money and money should flow current we call currency means anything that's flowing money should come money should go there are some people they keep on making money accumulating you know in the lockers bank accounts buying jewelry acquiring land they don't wear a good pant good shirt they don't eat food properly they don't go buy good car finally they die leaving the whole wealth to their children so what are you working for so money when you make you must also know how to enjoy with this money how to celebrate with this money money should be used for the right cause if you are not able to use it there is some problem there is really some problem so money is such a key ingredient for life because i have gone through such faces in my life many times you have so many friends on facebook instagram twitter you have more than 10000 people in your you know email just send one message to them give me 2 lakh rupees from tomorrow everyone will block you you try that how many real friends you have simply happy birthday happy wedding anniversary okay when you die rip because it comes no so free but 
<laughs> who is willing to give you money during covid time every one of us have gone through problem including myself financially nobody would come for help finally you know that you need to jump maybe one or two people genuine sincere okay true friendship okay somebody may help and they did help one or two people but 99% of relationships are only money every relation in this world is financially connected you and your spouse you and your child you and your dad you and your boss every person money so if you don't um, don't give money to them they won't give you your wife cooks for you for what because you are going to buy sari for her you are going to take care of her you are going to buy jewelry for her you stop giving money she won't cook for you anymore your children they are with you because you pay for their school college fee you buy clothes for them if you don't give then who cares finally you need to have enough money so i don't know what you do i really have no idea but check are you making enough money most people what they do they want to save money your thinking is always saving money imagine your ex, your income is 10000 per month you keep on calculating how much is my house rent ration clothes school fee okay my mobile charging petrol in my bike then the cost goes up to 11500 so you cut down 1500 rupees what do you cut down you basically cut down the food uh, hotel food the movie the long drive that ice cream who is suffering your children no i am only saying this way check write down what all your basic needs how much 11500 Now what is the income right now? Ten thousand. Miss, how much your deficiency? Thousand five hundred. Now think, how can I make use of my talent, my time, to increase my income to thousand five hundred? Can I do some tuitions? Can I drive a Vola car? Now can I help? You know, in accounting work of someone? Can I do some part-time job? Can I write a story? Okay, how can I make more money? So focus should be on that. Don't never ever focus on saving money. focus on how we can increase money so that all your basic needs are fulfilled and you are able to live life happily that's how our life should go so make a small little plan i am not saying that you should become stinking rich i am not saying but never ever you should cry so check how much money you are making how much is expenditure how much you are saving okay now how much money should be there in fixed deposit how much is the investment and when you become old now there should be some money which you and your wife can live on even your children don't help so the financial intelligence is very important for you okay so paisa banao make money when you have money thing is perfectly okay otherwise you'll have sleepless nights you may be walking encyclopedia you you may be the wisest man on this earth but if you don't know how to make money and if you're a poor guy even your own family they don't respect you believe me trust me when you have money people will automatically respect so for everything money is the oil for running the engine and you have to make money so take out this concept that money is bad all rich people they only made money through evil you know work take out that concept you can be good you can do right work you can still become rich as well only thing you should understand basic methodology how to make money but you get only one chance to live this life you should have enough you want to go on holiday you want to buy a book you go on to go for a movie you want to buy some clothes you want to watch a movie okay you want to gift something to someone you want to donate to some temple or some social worker you can always do if you have enough money if you're not there problem is always there so money is very essential for celebrating life okay so think about introspect sit at home check your qualification profession the work that you are into what are your needs how much money you are making how can i increase my income 
how can you clear off all my loans just check that okay because the moment you have a loans you need to pay someone the kind of trouble the turmoil mental tension sleepless nights unbearable you can't imagine hence make money okay and you have every right to make money so i don't even want to know whether the mother is rich father is rich or not you may be poor but you have a right to become rich you should become rich so make money and anyone still not convinced that i don't need money i don't no uh, i will not blame you but make money then you can transfer the money to me <laughs> okay that you will not do it right? if that was a case so many workshops we do so many programs we do not even a single rich person they said okay in my village in my school in my college in my area in my locality in my community you come and do some free program and then i shall fund you no one ever said that okay so is all good to talk about it on facebook and in books but in real life no money matters okay paisa banao it may be a little bitter truth but that is the fact we are here to understand the facts of life okay so guys next time when you walk keep that 2000 rupees pink note in your pocket and then walk and feel that confidence okay people will salute you as you walk along what do you say so this is just a signing off from okay this podcast we shall meet up next time with some other new topic until then thank you so much love you okay so wishing you most and more make more wealth okay and then be happy right keep celebrating life thank you so much i love you all bye bye see you in the next podcast love you bye